my data and when I click on this one I'm gonna I'm gonna say edit this data and because it's a scatter I've got the X and the Y notice it's picking the series name up from the feed I'm not too worried about that I just want to switch the X and the Y's so this is so the X I want to be feet so I'm gonna click on this one delete what's in there and this gets a little finicky so be careful with it put my cursor in here control shift down and control backspace so I think that's picking it up I'm gonna say okay and then on the Y I'm gonna say this one and delete this stuff equals the inches control shift down control backspace and then okay so I think it flipped them now so it's picking up right right okay so I'll say okay and obviously you have a very similar looking uh, chart but it's not exactly the same right the feet are over here now you can see the feet going from up to eight and the inches going here up to 100 again you can add the trend line which isn't much helpful here because you can see it's exactly a straight line but if we add it just for practice purposes we'll say bucket I like to make it a straight line and then bucket drop down and orange sometimes it's it kind of lags when you are working in the charts so be patient with Excel don't get mad at Excel because then if you get mad at it it just closes up and stops responding altogether and you don't want Excel to get like that don't get don't make it get like that okay so then uh, what we'll do then let's actually pull these over here to get them out of the way pull them under here towel vase Mui B to the end that's perfect location for those charts because they can really be pretty large and express themselves in a meaningful way without interfering with other areas that also need to have their own space for self-expression okay so then let's add then uh, another column between the inches so and I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna put the Z scores related to it so this is our actual data not what we did before what we did before was then plot the normal distribution now we're gonna do it the same similar kind of process with the actual data so let's I'm gonna put my cursor in column V and select the entire thing right click and insert which will insert a column in the middle and then I'm gonna call this Z for the inches so these are my Z scores for my actual data so same calculation of the Z it's gonna be equal to brackets I'm gonna pick up that 16 uh, minus the mean for X which is over here so the mean for X was this one and then I'm going to say F4 on the keyboard, making it absolute, closing up the brackets and divided by the standard D. The standard D, which is this one, F4. And I think that's it. We can say OK. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and, and decimalize it, home tab, number group. If you really want to know it, you have to, you have to look at the decimals. You don't really know it until you until you get it get to see their decimals and then you can understand the Z all right anyways we're gonna say there's that the feet and then this is the Z feet the Z feet that sounds like a funny name it's the Z feet sounds like the name of a, a, a punk band or a rock band or something here come the Z feet like a zebra foot is not a hoof that would be a hoof not a foot at all if it was a zebra foot anyways this is going to be equal to well before I do that uh, we're gonna say oh no that's right here we go here we go just stop talking about zebra hooves get to business this is gonna be uh, one minus each data set minus the the mean for uh, the feet now and then F4 on the keyboard making it absolute closing it up divided by and then we're looking for standard deviation standard deviation is that one F4 on the keyboard 
and that is it. So I'm gonna say enter. Let's add some decimals, home tab number, decimalize it. Okay, so there we have it. And then I can copy that down, double click and copy that down. So now we've taken, we're basically looking at our formula. We took each set of data for X and Y, subtracted it from its perspective, uh, its perspective mean, and then divided it by the the standard deviation, which is the z-score for the x's and y's. So now we need to basically sum all that up, multiply it together, you know, and divide by uh, the n minus one. So let's do that this way. I'm going to do it, sum it up here. I'm going to say this is z inches times. I'll do that with the asterisk z feet. Z, it sounds like a French guy saying it. It's Z inches times Z feet. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know many, I don't know French too well, but I would like to learn, I mean, uh, anyway. So we're gonna multiply this out. This is gonna be Z inches times Z feet. And then we're gonna say, that's the best I can do for a French accent. It's, it's probably horrible. I, have, I don't have much reference here. Home tab, uh, I watched the Pink Panther uh, when I was a child, the detective, who had an accent. Anyways, let's add some decimals here. And then we'll, mul we'll copy this down. And then now, so now we have that. So let's make a skinny Z, a skinny Z for Z column. All right, stop that. Stop with the accent, it's horrible. People have turned off the video. They went to the next lecture and they're not even gonna know what to do because they just wanted to hear you shut up. Okay, here we go. We're gonna sum up, uh, sum up the uh, inches times Actually, I could do this with a formula just to make it fancy. If, if I want to put this in here so I can change it, I can say equals, and then I'm going to say brackets. I'm going to say it's the sum in the brackets. That's the text, and then tie it to what's in this cell. And then say it's going to be the sum of uh, Z inches and Z feet. I probably should put a space in there too, or maybe like another bracket and a space bracket. Uh, and I got to tie that in with an and. So you can get kind of fancy with that if you want to kind of copy your worksheets over. Uh, but I'll put that in the outer column equals the sum of this column, control shift down. So we just summed that up. And then I can, I'm going to take the rest of my formula is I divide it. So I did this whole top bit now divided by n minus one. So I'm gonna say here n minus one colon, let's make a small n, minus one colon. So I'm gonna say this is gonna be n, just n, just n, not minus, not minus one. Stop trying to figure out what I'm trying to do, Excel. You don't know what I'm doing. I'm too complex. My mind is too complex for you to try to read it. So we're gonna say this is count just because you got some AI going here. Control shift down. I think you can read my mind. You ain't no human being. You're not, you're not a human being. Less, can't, you, you don't know what I'm thinking. Not even human beings know what I'm thinking. Less one, okay, calm down. Excel wasn't trying to be offensive.